let us now prove that the function square root of x which is defined from 0 infinity to 0 infinity uh, is uh, continuous. Now how do we show this? Well, we resort to the epsilon delta definition. This can be done using sequences also. But as an illustration, let me do it via epsilon and delta. First, first consider, consider the case x equal to 0. Well, square root of 0 is 0. So what we are asked to do is, we have to somehow show that the epsilon delta definition is satisfied at the point 0. So fix epsilon greater than 0 we need to find we need to find delta greater than 0 such that such that if mod y minus 0 is less than delta then mod square root of y minus square root of 0 is less than epsilon so essentially we have to find a delta such that mod y less than delta implies square root of y less than epsilon. I can ignore the modulus here also. Okay. Now if delta is equal to epsilon squared, if I set, if I set, set delta equal to epsilon squared, then y is less than epsilon squared implies square root of y is less than epsilon okay so the uh, showing continuity at the point 0 turned out to be quite easy now fix fix some point x not equal to 0 okay then then we have to estimate we have to estimate modulus of square root of y minus square root of x okay now we use the oldest trick in the book this is equal to square root of y minus square root of x times square root of y plus square root of x divided by square root of y plus square root of x right i can divide and multiply by this one reason for that is the denominator is not zero root y plus root x is not zero here okay now what do we do well we observe that this numerator is nothing but y minus x modulus by square root of y plus square root of x okay all i have done is square root of y plus square root of x is positive i have put a modulus and taken square root of y plus square root of x inside multiplied and got mod y minus x by square root of y plus square root of x okay now this is certainly going to be less than mod y minus x by square root of x because square root of y would again be a non-zero quantity or it could be zero it's a non-negative quantity it's a non-negative non quantity so i'm just getting rid of something that will make the denominator larger so i can write this inequality but root x is fixed is a fixed quantity it's a fixed quantity right so so by the k epsilon principle we are done we are done that was fairly easy please as an exercise show the same thing using sequences this is a course on real analysis and you have just watched the module on the function square root of x